Rogerforce Leadfoot. He is blue and yellow and has these orange details. I'll pull him in a little closer so you can see the stickers. Oh yes, we're getting that. Um, number 93 car right there. Uh, I like picking up the Formula One car transformers like Mirage and Leadfoot and um, of course there's Fracture from the new movie um, which was supposed to be for the universe line not the movie line but you know Walmart wanted more movie toys so it had to be Fracture in movie instead of universe so off-screen battles <laughs> anyway the Generation 2 figures and the Machine Wars figures, I really like them, but um, they don't get a lot of press, and I mean, you can get scalped on them for those who are marketing them as Generation 1 figures on eBay. Um, they're really not worth a lot. Now, the first part of the transformation is I took off the rotor already, and now we're going to pop out, if I can, let's see. Trying to get the rotor off. As you can see, losing the rotor on Leadfoot leaves this huge gap in the back of him. There's the rotor. You'll see it again. It'll be a weapon. Spoiler. Okay. Now we've got Leadfoot with the gap in him. So, we're going to transform him some more. I'm going to back off so you can actually see me transforming it. And we are rotating the legs out. And all I did was rotate this blue piece down and put the feet down. Feet come out of the back. Surprisingly, the feet are the weakest part of Leadfoot because they're so small and he has such a huge upper body. The neat part of this transformation is rotating the. Let me see if I can get you a good shot. Is rotating this part through the legs. Because. And then you just have it like this and flip that down to reveal the head. Pop down the arms. Flip them over. You just sort of ratchet out to the sides very simply. So, I've got a lot of joints here. It's good for the articulation. It's... I count it. I count the articulation even if it's part of the transformation. And what articulation does Leadfoot have in robot mode? Why, he has the ability to flop his head up and flop his shoulders up. He has the ability... The feet can wiggle. And if you can get it the right way, you can also have him pop his legs back like he's flying, I guess, or jumping off a cliff. Ooh, extreme action! There's only lead foot. He has light piping and his gimmick, which is the rotor now reattached to his spoiler chunk. With the rotor reattached to the spoiler chunk, you merely pop it back into the fist. Fist peg. Ah, uh, miss the days of having holes drilled into hands? Well, maybe you don't, but, you know, there you go. He has a hole drilled into his hand, and so he can have this as a bluster. You click it, click it, click it as much as you want. I'm not interested in breaking it, but you click it as much as you feel is necessary. It'll start tightening up after a while. And then you can hopefully fire it. I'm going to get it as close to you as I can. And yeah, I think you saw that a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's really, really intense. It's much more intense than a spring loaded missile in some cases. Because since it's a wheel, it, it will spin around on the ground like a top. So, it's something about the rotor force. Uh, yeah, there are four Rotor Force guys. Um, there's Manta Ray, who's the other Autobot one. Yes, this is an Autobot, Leadfoot. And um, then there's also Ransack and Power Dive. And we'll see if we can get a review on all three of them, if 